Hi guys, um, it's time I did the skinny, uh, did a video on uh, Escape from Tarkov, the good, the bad, and the Tarkov, as I'm, I'm probably going to call this video. Now, I have been playing Escape from Tarkov for a while now. Um, I've been part of its initial alpha um, and some. No, I do not have like a mega uber scary freaking EOD account. I've just got a regular, you know, Joe Schmo Blow account. You know, it's just a regular, regular account. You know, there's nothing too uh, special or sinister about it, etc. Other than it's just a, a regular account. Now, I have. Uh, <laughs> I have um, gone somewhat out of my way to do videos uh, like this. And the reason why I've done that is because there are just some things about EFT that just really, that just really annoys the, part of my French, but annoys the piss out of me. And some of those things is, you know, you've got nothing for a stash size, okay? Absolutely nothing for a stash size with the standard account. So it kind of forces players to, to you know, buy the upgrade, uh, upgraded account, which I, I get, you know. Tarkov got to make that Tarkov money, right? You know, I, I get that. I do, I do get that. Tarkov's got to make its money, you know. But what what does me in is the fact that even though first of all I'm gonna lose my train of thought here. First of all, your I, I get it. The game is supposed to be ta quote unquote tactical. Right? Uh, I, I do get it. The game is supposed to be tactical. Do I want to drop 80 grand on ammo? Not right this second. You know, the game is supposed to be, quote unquote, a tactical shooter. And, and I get that. Okay? But slowing down the game mode by forcing us to reload by uh, um, now adding in medical things you know it's like oh we're gonna add the fact that you got to pop out every individual pill and then pop it with some water and kind of and i get it they're doing that because pretty much they just their problem is also their salvation they just haven't seen it slash don't know it and what i mean by that is streamers like deadly slob like cotton gamer like um you know just streamers that made the game big i've streamed eft two or three four times on my channel uh, on my Twitch channel, and and frankly, I, I just don't care. Um, why? Why? So I can get stream sniped by some douchebag who knows I really don't have much. He just wants to get that long. And it, it, that aside, streamers are also the reason why you are putting too many restrictions on your game. And what I mean by that is, you're adding in the fact you have to go load, 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 load. Load, 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 almost done. Load, 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 load. Believe it or not, soldiers know how to load their ammunition pretty goddamn fast in the field. It's called double thumb. Ready? Oh, look, what am I doing? I'm double thumbing. It's not hard. I'm pretty sure the Russian army doesn't do it because, you know, it's the Russian army and you are a Russian based company. But in the British Army, in the American Army, in every other country, 
we we learn to speed reload. And then there are some some streamers out there that have the EOD account, so you know their stash is like the size of this freaking vest here, and just have four mags in there. And when they've dried out all their mags, they just discard the mags, and then drag and drop four brand new mags and rin rinse and reload. They find ways around your reload mechanism. And this is the one thing you're not getting. And it's the one thing, sadly, that you're never going to get. The more restrictions you keep putting on the players, the more the players are going to figure out a way around that restriction. Around the fact that, oh, okay, so you're, you're, you've added this, so we can't do that. You're adding this, so we can't do this. But we can still do this. We can still do that. You can still, you know, with, with a, a gamma container, still grab a, a uh, still still grab a scab vest, you know, grab a pistol, put the pistol in the scab vest, you know, put the scab vest in your freaking container, and then grab the pistol and put it in your tactical rig, and, 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 and oh ha, ha, ha! Now you got a pistol that no one can loot. You know, you, you, let let's not work on game breaking bugs like that. No, 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 no. Let's work on the fact that our streamers are making our game look too easy. Well, you're not thinking of your actual player base. Spawning the boss Rashka on on customs a hundred percent is just fucking stupid. Frame rates drop to dog shit. Why? Because all the bodyguards throw flashes and frag grenades instantly. And we all know that lags the servers. You know? I, I mean, I've literally watched the bodyguards throw a grenade at a wall right in front of them. It lands in between their legs, blows up, and kills them and Rashka at the same time. And people just go in and loot and laugh. Why? Because you're not thinking. So let's lag out the freaking customs map, which, by the way, is required for how many quests? You need to get the, the factory key to com actually complete quests. But where's the factory key spawn? Oh, that's right. The factory key isn't spawning right now. At least I've done... Let's see. How, how many... How many... See, don't care about my, my kill, death, survive ratio. Re really don't care. I, I just don't care about any of that crap. There's my kill, death. 3.6 to 1. That's actually pretty impressive. For a person who comes from free to play first person shooters where you still keep your gear after death you know it's that's actually not too bad now my point still stands though you're purposely uh, if, let's, let's just look at the tasks shall we mp5 great but the drum mags aren't spawning at least i haven't found them and i've gone to every bloody crate that i can think of on at least every bloody map except for interchange because interchange is broken and buggy as fuck um fix the first control boards can't do that because i don't have access to the toolkits all the toolkits are trade items because you but fucked up and realized that people are buying the toolkits from the nurse and just buying the ak-74n because you put that behind a, tra a trade wall you are purposely fucking over your stock player base in favor of your EOD player base, it's abundantly clear. Why? Because everything, every everyone's account bar the stock EOD gets bonuses towards all the trade traders. So they're coming in at trade level two, trade level three. So they're going into raids with better gear from the get go. Okay, which basically means all regular gear. If you've got a pistol or an SMG or you know, here I'll, I'll, I'll even show you. Okay. Let's see. So you've made that useless. You've made that useless. Um, let's see. What else have you made useless? Uh, oh, uh, pretty much uh, 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 that useless. You've made the Vepi useless. You've made the MP5 useless. And you've made the Glock 17 useless. Now, here's, here's another head-scratcher moment I'm having lately. Why is it that... The MP5 SD is no longer, as you can see, I, I have Peacekeeper level 3, okay, weapons, where's the MP5 SD? Last patch, the MP5 just magically didn't shut, but the MP5 SD was there, now you've got the MP5, but no MP5 SD. 
Um, hello? Hello, McFly? You know, what's the problem there? Let's see. Uh, I've got uh, a Prapor level two. No suppressors. Unless I trade them for the cat that for some reason only spawns on interchange now. Doesn't spawn anywhere else. Uh, oh look, toolkits again. Toolkits, toolkits, toolkits. Toolkits freaking everywhere. Why does everything need toolkits? One of the things that is not spawning at all. I've even done offline raids. And out of about 10 offline raids that I did on Woods, one set of tools spawned. One in ten. One in ten. That is how bad the drop rates are. Oh, lo and behold, look, I don't I, I, I don't even have mechanic above level two. Don't even have ragman above level one. Why? Because he's got nothing I want. A bag, a scav vest, a helmet, sunglasses, bavaclava. That's all I buy from him. That's all I buy from him. Any decent gear that I get in the raids, I've immediately replaced those items with that better gear. You know, it's called trading up. So once I get to that point where I'm actually happy with the gear that I've got, you know, yeah, if I get excess gear, I'll sell it to him. Very rarely, though, I'll sell it to him. Yeah, I get it. I'm only level 18. I'm not level 50. I'm not... Because, again streamers and, and 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 hardcore players who basically have no fucking life no offense to, to most streamers who sit there all day playing the same who are dedicated to the same game I, I hat goes off to you you know i'm a variety streamer i play whatever the hell i, I feel like playing you know I, I let my viewers watch me for my entertainment not the game's entertainment you know that's the big difference between you know stuff like that but my point still stands. Okay. Six matches for the Comtac. Okay. Five of the Bavaclavas, uh, the masks, for a Packer vest. Okay. Two chocolate bars for the army bag. Two bleaches for the helmet, but you need the bleach for another quest. Uh, a chainlet for the, the visor. Do you see what I'm saying? Any, any gear that's worth its salt is behind a trade wall. Okay. So I'm going into a raid with no gear, basically. Versus a guy who's already got a fort armor, who's already got a freaking uh, a kiva and and you know and, and class three, class four armor, where I know my piss poor little freaking SMG or pistol ain't gonna do jack fucking shit to them, so I get destroyed and have to play at like freaking three in the morning when no one else is on, and it force spawns me into a match with just scavs and player scavs. And I kill two or three scavs, grab what what shit I can, and get out, and quite literally become the 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 brine of, of Tarkov. I'm not a shark. I'm not a fish. I'm not a guppy. I'm not a whale. I'm brine. I'm the thing that whales feed on because you Tarkov can't seem to see past your streamers to see your entire player base. And here's another thing: Why do I have to go into a command? To activate the, f the frames per second counter. Shouldn't that just be an option? In this day and age. Shouldn't it just be an option in game? Like right here. You got blood language filter. Not available in the beta. Sh shouldn't, shouldn't there just be like. A tick option. To just say display FPS. Instead of me having to bring up a tilde key, which, by the way, is extremely freaking annoying in the middle of a raid because it just happens to be next to the damn tab key, which happens to be my bring up my interface key. So I'm in the middle of looting someone. I hear shots. I immediately press the tab. think I've pressed the tab key when in actuality I've pressed the goddamn tilde key. So I'm trying to do this and I'm typing freaking shit. And not going anywhere and have died. And I'm pretty freaking sure there are a lot of people that have died that way. Hands up. Because, again, you, Tarkov, cannot think past your fucking streamer's noses. Now, apart from that grief, your UI is laggy as shit. Going from just... Going from character to trade. There you go. Let's see. 
Okay, this trailer loaded up fine. Let's go to fence. Oh, look. Stuff is all still loading. See, stuff is all still loading. And this is on an SSD, by the way. See? Look at that. Look, look at the micro stutter while loading up. See? The micro stutter while, while loading up the vendors. See? And you think that's bad? The micro stutters in the game are worse. You'll know when you'll come close to an AI scav who's tracking you or whatnot. And here's another. Here, here, here's here's an absolute amazing blinder of an idea. How about you don't have the scavs AI trigger go off whether or not they've been spotted? Because I'm pretty freaking sure, okay, that if I'm using a Bravo scope, okay, or if I'm using the freaking Mosin scope. Okay, which I believe is a 3.5 powered scope. Yeah, if I'm using that kind of magnification on my site and I look at a scav and it will magically goes, oh, oh, I'm being looked at. I'm being looked at. I'm being, I'm sorry if that's the case, then I, I, I quite literally do not want to go to Russia. I'm serious. What happens to your people there? Uh, do, do they start acting like maniacs and go, oh, 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 camera's spotting me. Oh, 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 dash cam's got me. Seriously, because every freaking YouTube dash cam video seems to have Russia in it. Point is, okay, players don't act like that. Scavs shouldn't act like that. Okay? They should only actually react if they're being shot at. Okay, I get it. Play, some players have a sixth sense. They're using headsets or contacts or whatever. By the way, I can't fucking stand contacts. Here, you want to know how bad I hate contacts? You want to know how bad I hate contacts? Here we go. I have a pair of contacts that I looted off of someone. Didn't even put them on. I literally, after I looted them, I threw them in my bag, got out the raid, and I haven't touched them since. And I won't. And you want to know why I won't? Because they suck. They're supposed to dampen the localized sound, i.e. your footsteps and gunplay, and heighten other sounds, when really it literally sounds like someone is literally marching on gravel on my brain. Okay, because you cannot seem to get the audio correct, or you get that infinite machine gun loop. So you have to take the contacts off, wait a couple of seconds, put them back on, and then it stops. And then you shoot again, bang, 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 bang. That's all you're hearing repeatedly. You're not shooting, but you're hearing it repeatedly. So you take the contacts off again, put the contacts back on again. The constant audio glitch bugs and stuff like that. It's happened to Cotton Gamer. You were there, Nikita. You were there when it happened. And you said, oh, we will fix that next patch. You also said that about the pistol glitches. You've also said that about the fact that there's nothing blocking me. There's nothing blocking the scav I'm shooting at. Yet I'm standing there and I unload 30 plus rounds into the guy. He has no fucking vest. I am not missing my goddamn shots because there is blood and claret and organs and Christ knows what else. Every fucking where. And he shoots me once with a shotgun in the fucking foot. Blacks my leg out. I go click, 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 shit. Pop a pill, run around the corner, reload, come back out. Bah, 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 bah. Another 14 rounds from a 30 round mag. So in theory, this guy has now absorbed 40 fucking four rounds. And then he finally drops. An unarmored target. At the end of the game, I had to double check. I literally had to double check to make sure the guy's name wasn't Paul Weller. You know, a.k.a. Robocop. Because I put that much fucking lead into him. Quite literally, you could slice off his fucking penis and use it as a goddamn pencil. I'm sick of that shit, Nikita. I'm, shit, I, I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of scopes being completely inaccurate. To the point where I'm quite literally aiming and the laser is going whoop up here. Pull the trigger. The laser sight is more accurate than the fucking scope. But you claim to have fixed it.
in micro patches. You haven't fixed shit. Oh, and here's another thing. Why is it pistols are ranged at 50 meters, but the Vepers ranged at 25? Go ahead, check it out. Load into a raid with a Vepper. And you'll see when you first spawn in, it says 25. So you have to adjust it to 50 or adjust it to 100. Or, or, or it's just, it, it's these minor stupid fucking things that is killing the game. Okay, with each sequential patch, you are adding more and more shit into a bag that has gaping holes in it. And you're just leaving a trail of shit behind you because you are not fucking fixing the core problems. Fix the core problems and then, then add new content. Building a mansion on top of... On top of thin ice isn't going to stop the people in the house from drowning. Because that's pretty much what EFT is at right now. Okay. Right now it is just turning 11 o'clock. Okay. And here's, here's, here's another pisser. Why is it I have to quite literally connect to chat like this. Type away. Yeah. And yet I can still... What? Why is the chat still up? Why is it still up? Look, even if I press escape, it takes me back to the main menu. It doesn't take me out of chat. Even your chat system is fucked. Your servers are laggy as shit. Your engine is completely unoptimized. Your scav's line of sight and aim is ridiculous. 200 meters and dropped with a fucking headshot with a pistol at 200 fucking meters while I was wearing a fucking class 3 helmet with the visor down? Yeah. Or God forbid getting sprayed down by an MP5 at said 200, 150 meters and I unload with an AKM into him Pop, 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 pop from the tip of his dick to the top of his head. He's perfectly fucking fine, yet I die instantly, and I'm even behind cover. Your entire fucking game is broken. You just... Ser seriously. Seriously. You just... You need to seriously fucking stop, go back a few steps, and take a look at what you've done to this game. Because everyone is going off to that World War 3 game. And it quite literally makes Escape from Tarkov look like Minecraft. Cotton's already gone. Deadly Slob's already gone. Freaking Red 7's already going over. You're losing players. Cotton may come back to Escape from Tarkov. Okay? He may. But was that's where, that's where he's, he blew up with a viewer base. I remember when Cotton originally started playing Heroes and Generals. You know? But the point is, streamers move on, but your game remains. Stop building a game around people that are just going to move on. Think about your fucking bottom line, your core end, your actual players, player base that will stay behind, that will keep playing, that will try to give you honest freaking feedback, but you leak just because that's quite literally everything I hear from any of your stupid podcasts that you're on is you just don't give a fuck start giving a fuck because people are going to start voting with their wallet and eventually your game is going to go the way of the fucking dinosaur that's all for now guys